All right, so tonight we're gonna to take a look at a product that's kind of been hitting uh, the market here and uh, getting a lot of a uh, lot of attention, and that is PNS Brake Buster Total Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Now, this video is not gonna be for specifically the process of cleaning the wheel. I do have a, a video specifically on how I clean wheels, tires, fender liners, and and you know what brushes I use. This is gonna be just solely on the review of the product. So if you want to see how to fully clean. Uh, a wheel tire and wheel well just take a look at a couple of my uh, one of my other previous videos and you'll take a look here So let me bring you guys in This is a rental vehicle. So I figured this would be a good um, A good uh, vehicle to try this on see how well it cleans You can see there's a lot of brake dust cars got like I don't know, 26,000 miles on it Who knows if the wheels really have ever been deeply cleaned? Uh, but they definitely have a good buildup of brake dust as you can see Right down there, you swipe my finger. Okay, so I go over to directions here. It says apply to a cool surface when possible. This is a cool surface. Spray a generous amount to the rim and tire. Allow to sit for one minute or greater. Scrub with necessary rinse with high pressure washer or high pressure hose. All right, so we're gonna take a look here. Can spray it down. Oh, too far. Too far. There we go. There we go. Do the tire. See, it's turning the tire brown. Now, you can dilute this down, so if you regularly maintain your wheels on a weekly or bi weekly basis, you can cut it one to one or even greater and, um, you get a lot more life out of it, but since this wheel has not been cleaned, uh, probably in quite some time, I'm just gonna use it straight. Clean the tire here with the tire brush. Now the tire might need two cleanings because this tire hasn't been cleaned. As you can see, it is pure brown. Okay. Take the pressure or the uh, microfiber credit brush here. Have to take the barrel. Pretty open-faced wheel, so this is getting in there pretty good. Get some cleaner on this. What I like is this product clings and doesn't flash so quickly. Come on. Oh, there we go. Doesn't uh, flash so quickly, so it gives you a long working time. Okay. Now we're gonna just gonna do an agitation here. You can also put in a foam or two and dilute it down. And for general maintenance, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. You can get a lot more life out of the product, and it's not expensive to begin with. I'll hook a link up in the description, but I don't believe it's any more than fifteen, sixteen dollars a gallon. Very economical. I should really have that bucket with soap and water in it to do this, but I didn't. Gr I didn't get that together, so that's kind of why I keep wetting my brush. Otherwise, I would just dunk it in the bucket. But I forgot to do that. You can see what I talk about work time. I mean, you can see it's still wet on the tire; it hasn't even dried. Thing. All right, we're going to rinse it down and see what the results look like.
dry it off here. There's a little bit of residual left over, but that's because I'm using a battery powered pressure washer. It doesn't really have a strong stream. And these wheels are hammered. Whew. These are all chipped up. That all got pretty good. Okay, you know what? Let's uh let's do this. Looks like a simple wheel that would be to maintain, but his pockets are very, very deep in between these spokes. Bring you guys in here. So sorry. So you can see, that's not the fault of the cleaner. That's either pitting or combination of the brake dust. When it hits the rotor, it, it chips up that side. Because you can see, the wheel spins this direction. So when you brake, it hits the top portion of the spoke, not this portion. So I'd say it did a pretty good job um, getting the brake dust off. I mean, it's clean. There's nothing. This portion of the barrel here, you can see, is is, is pretty clean. So it did a great job. Um, tire is still drying, um, but looks like it did a pretty good job uh, on the rubber. But yeah, this wheel, whew, man. It's just absolutely hammered. Nissan doesn't do a good job with the finish on their wheels, in my opinion. But this also is a rental, so who knows about the quality control on it. Now, another thing that's nice about PNS is it has a, has a corrosion inhibitor in it. So that way, when you rinse the wheel down, you don't get an incredible buildup. Of rust on the road you still get like a tiny tiny bit of rust but I mean it's so minor compared to without it but you can see the tires tires dried you can see it did a really good job at prepping and getting the uh, that browning out of the tire but I mean these wheels are just absolutely hammered but it did a good job I'd say you know two thumbs up I wanted to try it on a on a wheel that hasn't been maintained because all the wheels that I've used PNS brake busts are on, uh, have, you know, are maintained wheels. So, I mean, you know, you can use soap and water theoretically to clean, maintain wheels. But I like a wheel cleaner because um, it has a little bit of extra lubri lubri lubrication in it. Because uh, brake dust is very, um, it's it's metal particles, so it's very uh, abrasive. So the better, you know, the more lubrication you have, uh, the better you'll be. Still a little browning here. Like I said, when I was scrubbing the tire down, I was pretty confident that it would have needed a second cleaning anyway, uh, which is fine. If the tire hasn't been cleaned in a long time, um, even using a, a dedicated tire cleaner or an all-purpose cleaner, you're going to have to do two or three uh, passes to really get the... Uh, get the junk out of the rubber but um so you know the reason i like using a wheel cleaner is because uh, like i said the lubrication and plus it's nice having the rust inhibitor in this product that allows you to um you know that, that doesn't build the surface build up on the rotor so i say it's a pretty good product um for you know for a wheel that is not you know maintained on a regular but i mean as you can see this wheel is absolutely hammered so um, it's brake dust free for sure so there's no more brake dust on anything I mean it's completely it's completely gone so 
appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll hook up links in the description for the product. Uh, if you want to buy the 16 ounce version to give it a try, or if you want to go ahead and do the gallon, um, that's what I had bought after I tried the 16 ounce bottle. Uh, like I said, it's very, very inexpensive. It's, it's not an expensive wheel cleaner. Because that's the thing with wheel cleaners is, you know, you know buy, buying a wheel cleaner for 30, 30 40, 50 dollars a gallon, you're going to go through a lot. You can't be skimpy on wheel cleaner. You just simply can't. You have to get complete coverage. You, ha you have to get it everywhere. It's not like you're spraying a, a spray wax on the paint where you know you, you miss there and you miss there. You know, do a couple mists and then wipe it in. It's good. You can't do that with wheel cleaner. You have to use it liberally. You have to use a, a good amount of it. It's not wasting product. It's just ensuring that you're going to get a fully clean surface. If you spray it on you know, that portion and that portion and that portion, you're not going to get a, a really clean wheel especially if the wheel hasn't been cleaned in a long time. So being a very inexpensive wheel cleaner and being dilutable, like I said, you know, once you get the wheel completely cleaned, initially you can use the, uh, you know, you can dilute it down one to one or even greater than that, um, just as a maintenance, just, you know, to give you that extra lubrication when you um, when you go to, uh, to wash your wheels. So appreciate your time. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.